everybody, it's John here from Vidgimiac.com. Here we are today, back in the Buzzy Bees update for Minecraft, grabbing the sticky situation achievement. This is to slide down a block of honey. If you are doing this from scratch, just like the previous achievement, Be Our Guest, I recommend you set your starting seed on a new map as Stronghold below. The reason for this is this should put you in front of a village with a bee nest right next to it, which will save us a bunch of time since we won't have to look for a bee nest. Also, the village should contain everything we need in order to get our honey a lot easier. So head in to the village. Your first thing here that you want to do is to make sure you grab as many flowers as you can. You want about a dozen or so flowers. Once you have those, make sure you look for the bee nest. It should be in the front of the village. Make sure you look for the shorter of the two trees right here. The bee nest is going to look a little something like this. Place your dozen or so flowers right next to it. This will save us a bunch of time later. So just sprinkle the various flowers all over the side of the nest. After we have found our nest and have set up our flowers, the next thing we are going to need are going to be some bottles to collect the honey. And this is going to be optional, but I highly recommend it anyways. You want to make sure you build a campfire so you can pacify the bees. So to build a campfire, you are going to need three logs. So just make sure you chop down a tree next to you. Place those down. You are going to need a piece of charcoal or coal and then you need three sticks. So three logs in the bottom, coal in the middle, surround that by a triangle of sticks that gets you your campfire. Then to get the bottles, you want to hit up the nearest beach slash desert, grab some sand. You're going to need a total of four bottles, which is going to require you to have six pieces of sand. Smelt that into six pieces of glass, and that should convert into six bottles when you craft them, and that should be more than enough. So obviously you can only craft them in sets of three, so you're going to need six for this. So once you have your bottles and your campfire, head back to the nest to pacify it. All you have to do is just place the campfire directly underneath the nest. Again, this is optional since bees won't attack you on peaceful. However, they will still aggro on you. So in order to make it so they won't be distracted by us, we are just going to pacify them. So pop your campfire down and then whip out your bottles and it's time to play the waiting game. So the way that honey is going to work is every so often bees are going to pop out of the nest and go to the nearest flower since we managed to set this up where we place flowers next to the nest they aren't going to have to travel too too far they should collect some pollen after a while and then bring that back to the nest every five times they go back to the nest with pollen it should fill up with honey indicated by the two little holes on the nest turning yellow once a Nest is filled with honey. You can go up to it with an empty bottle, hit it with left trigger, and that should fill it with honey. And you are going to need a total of four for this. Keep in mind that bees are only active during the daytime, so I also recommend you stealing a bed from the village so you can skip past all the nighttime segments and just focus on waiting out the daytime segments for the bees to fill up the nest. Once you grab your four bottles of honey after several minutes of waiting, take this back to your nearest crafting table and craft this into a block. It's just going to be four bottles of honey in a 2x2 two two square, and that should give you your honey block. You are also going to need some building materials to set up the structure to make this a lot easier so grab some dirt or something and you basically want to build two columns that are too high with a gap in the middle and then place the honey block in the top row of that gap and in order to slide down it you can either just lower yourself down or if you are on the floor you can jump into it and just slide down from the side it should slow your fall down and reduce any fall damage i believe however doing it for the first time should net you this achievement of course this is bedrock edition so it might be a little glitchy start save and quit it should pop somewhere in the main menu there it is 30 gamer score and that's all there is to it